About a year and a half ago, my YouTube channel got hacked. It was obviously the hacker's fault. and They've been handled and they're gone. But some of it's my fault. And the reason why it's my fault is I didn't really have a secure password. I want to show you a brilliant idea by my friend Phil over at Let's Celebrate TV. Um, he's been in IT for, I think it's been 20, 30 years and he's never had a password broken into over all these. Now you can use this password over and over and over and use it. And it's about as unhackable as a password can be unhackable. Let me show you the theory of this and how this works. Well, people come up with passwords. They come up with stuff like, uh, alien me. Here's the problem with this password is that is what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The problem with this is let's take a eight character password that can be hacked in a matter of minutes, hours, something like that. When you move to a 12 character password, it exponentially goes up on how they can figure out your password and algorithmically, al algor algorithmically break into that by doing all these fancy schmancy things. And that brings it up to something like, I think it's a month. So the longer your password is, the better. You don't want to get crazy about it. Now, the problem with it is you have all these different passwords all over the place. And if you have to write down, keep every password all over everywhere, it's just going to drive you nuts. Well, this method that Phil came up with, it allows you to remember the password. You don't have to write all the password downs. You just have to remember the beginning, the end, and whatever the site is. Been using it for a year and a half now, and I've had no problem with anybody hacking into my channel like I did a year and a half ago. Here's how this works. Now, the theory of this is pretty simple. You basically have something like the following. First, you basically have something, whatever that word is. It can be a big long word or whatever. Then you have some, to keep it simple, we'll just use a dash for a separating character. Then you're going to have something here, say four characters, then another dash. The numbers that mean to, something to me are like one, two, seven, three, two. Maybe that's, I don't know, maybe that's when I get married or some something like that. So we already have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We have a 20 character password. Well, it makes it kind of a pain to remember all these. The way you do this is, let's go with password number one. Let's say my password is going to be for YouTube. YouTube is spelled like this, YouTube. So I would take the last four characters, tube, T-U-B-E, and I would do them backwards, E-B-U-T. So I've switched it backwards. So now I take my beginning something like this. I put my dash in, bink. I know this is for YouTube. I put my dash in, and then I put whatever my numbers or whatever at the end, one, two, seven, three, two. So now I have this password that's pretty good. Now I'm keeping this simple. And I'm keeping this example really simple. I mean, you wouldn't have something, something like that. You would have something else and you would just use something that would make sense to you. And it could be anything. Let's say your keyword is dogs eat. Let's say it's dogs eat cherries. Now, who's going to figure out dogs eat cherries? So that is your first thing that you use on every single password. So for in this example, we would have dogs eat cherries. E B U T hyphen and my number set, which is one, two, seven, three, two. Now somebody trying to figure out this password, it's going to be really hard. If you want to get really crazy about it, because look, it has all the requirements that you want in this. It has caps, it has lowercase, it has numbers, it has dashes, it has a keyword. Now let's say you had, let's get rid of all this. And let's say you had another site that you went to and it was, uh, let's say your Gmail password. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come in, we're going to do set the password to dogs eat cherries hyphen backwards of Gmail, which is going to be L I A M another hyphen. And we're going to use our number set again, one, two, seven, three, two. So what we've done is we've constructed these passwords. Now you'll notice for these two different sites, 
I have a big, long password that's really going to be hard to hack, and another big, long password that's going to be really hard to hack. But all I have to remember is, where am I going? Well, I'm going to YouTube. If I remember this first set in the dash, and I remember the dash and my number schema at the end, all I have to remember is, where am I at, and reverse it. That's going to be YouTube. This is going to be Gmail. Let me give you another example. Let's say we have a pretend site, um, which is banking. Some banking site. Let's, let's say that's just your banking site. It's called banking. We would do the same type of schema right here. Assuming my bank is called banking, I'm not going to tell you what the name of my bank is. We would come through and we take the last four letters again, which are K, I, and G, and we're going to reverse this to G, N, I, Okay, let's get rid of that. As long as I always remember dogs eat cherries, and I remember my middle description, which is a dash, and I remember my N numbers, whatever that is, I will always know. If I'm going to YouTube, I just last four letters backwards. If I'm going to Gmail, last four letters backward. If I'm going to this other fictitious site, last four letters backward. You can do this over and over and over and over and over. The nice thing about this is it allows you to remember what your password is. It makes it really, really unhackable to have a password like this because someone's going to be able to either even algorithmically it would take years to go through this many letters. As long as you use a number that's just whatever it is, don't use your birthday or something like that. As long as you know what site you're using the password for right here, all you have to remember is to backwards the first four. You could use the first eight or whatever. This particular way method of doing this means you could have passwords for 30, 40, 60, etc. sites. And I have sites. I don't know. I must have passwords. I must have 30, 40, 50. I got to have more than that. 40 or 50 passwords for different sites that I go to. And I use the same methodology. And for a year and a half, no one has even come close to figuring out what the password was. If one of the sites got hacked, it would only be one site. It wouldn't be all the sites because they wouldn't, they wouldn't know all the sites. So you'd only have one thing to change. You could go through every three months or every year and change your first part or change your last part or change that number at the end if you wanted to change them all just to be safe. This is the most surefire method I know of having passwords. You don't have to write them down. You don't have to put them in your computer. As long as you remember that first word and that sequence of numbers at the end and what you use on this thing, it'll totally work for you. Let me show you one more thing. Now, there's nothing saying that these hyphens, I kept them simple. I could use whatever I want. I could use a paren hyphen zero in between them. So it would be my big long keyword here, paren hyphen zero, what the site was, another paren hyphen zero, etc. You can see how this could get really strange, but the thing is, all you have to remember is what you did here, what you use, I use paren hyphen zero. So all you have to remember right here is what the site you're going to and changing it backwards. You can, again, you could use six letters, four letters, whatever you want to use. This is the most unhackable way to create a password that I know of. Now, I'm sure there's going to be people that argue with this and say, oh, I could hack this. I could hack this thing or somebody can hack it and hackers are everywhere and blah, blah, blah. I'll be quiet. Um, anybody who can, I mean, I could come up with something right now. I'll just come up with something right now, do, 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 the middle thing. And you already know the pattern. I'll even just use dashes and the end thing. You figure out if you can hack that password I just came up with my head. The really cool thing about this is you can have 50, 100, thousands of sites and you can just use the same thing. You don't have to write anything down. You don't have to do little notepad things. It's totally safe and secure as long as you remember that first keyword and that end pattern, you're good to go. So there you go. That's my latest on passwords. I really hope this helps. If you want to argue with this, go ahead and leave a comment below and say, no, that's not going to work. And we can all laugh or whatever you want to do. If you enjoyed this or this really did help you, give it a try. Once you get used to it, it's a piece of cake and you'll just be snapping through your passwords and everything else and you'll be safe. Now, as an end note, this doesn't 
precludes you using things like two-factor authentication and all the things that YouTube and other sites say you should use. You should use those. I didn't use two-factor authentication and I got really screwed doing it. So go ahead and do all those things that are safe. But as far as passwords are concerned, this is the safest way I know to be able to remember your password. You don't have to write anything down and it really, really works. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Inevitably, someone's going to come along and say, no, that won't work. You can still hack the password. We can get at your password. Okay, good. You ready? Here's the thing. I'm going to give you a month to figure out the following password. You ready? There's the password. You figure it out and I will send you a thousand dollars if you figure out the password I just came up with. You're just going to have to take my word that I'm going to be honest about it, but I'm not worried about it. It ain't going to happen. And no, I'm not going to lose a thousand dollars. If you really want to play the game, we could do it the other way. If you do figure it out, you give me in a month, then I give you a thousand dollars. If you don't figure it out in a month, you give me a thousand dollars. Yeah, try that on for size.